Hi friends, it's Ian here with Nostalgic Games and welcome back to my gaming channel. If you're someone like me who absolutely loved the original Sims 1 franchise and still play it to this day or maybe are considering to play it, today's tutorial is just for you. Today, I am gonna show you guys a quick and easy hack for updating your graphics in The Sims 1 so you can play it at 60 frames per second in full widescreen compatibility mode. Now, in order to be able to do this, you will need to download a patch, which we will install directly into our game. I find this method way easier than a lot of the YouTube tutorials that exist out there, as this will not require us to actually edit any core files in the game. I just don't like doing that personally. I find it really risky. This method, in my opinion, is a lot easier and more straightforward. So to start, you guys are going to need to download the patch file, which I will link in the description of this video below. So go ahead and click on that right now and let's navigate to that site. So this is the Sims 1 Complete Collection Widescreen Patcher by Faith Beam. Now, please note, you will need to have the complete collection installed in order for this to work. If you have the deluxe version of the game or maybe the double deluxe version, I can't speak to this patch working for those versions. So I would strongly recommend to get a copy of the complete collection. So all we need to do is to navigate down here to assets and to select the correlating one for whatever type of a computer we are using. For today's tutorial, I am on Windows. I am actually on Windows 11, which is the most recent version of Windows at the time of this recording. So we're going to go ahead and click on this file here and download it. Now your downloaded file is a zip file, which means you will need to extract it using software such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. I will link both in the description box below. Both of them are free and they're pretty easy to use and downloading them is a cinch, so I'm not gonna go over that for the sake of time in this tutorial. So now that we have our compressed zip file here, I strongly recommend extracting it into the actual Sims 1 bin where your game install is located. Now, generally, most of us install our games on our C drive, but you could have the game on a D drive or an SSD. So this next step is really going to be dependent upon where your game files are located. In my case, my game files are in my C drive, so I'm going to go ahead and click there and navigate to program files times 86. Now, depending on what type of version of The Sims you have on your computer, your folders may vary from mine. So I have navigated to my folder where The Sims Complete Collection is stored, and we're gonna go ahead and double click on the folder that says The Sims Complete Collection. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, your actual game application should be here. For a quick reference, the application is around 2,972 kilobytes. If you have located that, then you have done this step successfully. Now, I strongly recommend dragging and dropping this entire zip file into this folder. You might get a notification that says you'll need to provide administrator permission to move this folder and you just want to click continue, which will do just that. The widescreen patcher zip file will now show, but please note, I have already installed it correctly into my game, so I am going to do a step a little different, but I still want to give you guys a complete visual here. Yours will not be visible yet until you extract the files. So you will need to right click on your zip file, go down to WinRAR and extract here. Now if you are using 7-Zip, the process is fairly simple, it might not be the exact same step step, but just to reiterate, you need to extract the files here. Because I have already done this in my game, I'm going to extract the files in my downloads folder just to show you guys the full application. 
but this process would be entirely the same if I were to do it in the complete collection folder, which I strongly advise you to do. We're going to go ahead and right click here and we want to extract here. Now what that step is going to do is it's going to actually drop the application into your Sims Complete Collection folder. Now this next step is pretty easy. All you need to do is to just double click on the Sims 1 widescreen patcher. You will have a little interface pop up here and it will create a widescreen patcher log file that is entirely fine. That will just sit there with the rest of the documents in this folder. Now. We need to locate the actual .exe file of the game, which is here. It is the Sims application, which I had previously mentioned, and it's 2,972 kilobytes. Just keep that in mind if you're having a hard time locating it. Do not select the application that says Sims 1 widescreen patcher because that is the application that you are currently using. Again, to repeat myself, please select Sims, the Sims application, and it is 2,972 kilobytes. And we will go ahead and select open. So now that we have the correct install of the Sims selected, the Sims.exe, we can go ahead and change the resolution. Now the native resolution of the game currently is probably 800 by 600 or it might be 1024 by 768. You're gonna wanna go ahead and bump this all the way to 1920 by 1080. However, if you do have a 4K monitor, you could select custom resolution and plug in your dimension settings there. I am on a standard 1920 by 1080 resolution here, so I am going to select that. Now, you do have the option of installing a wrapper, either DG Voodoo 2 or DD Draw Compact. I am currently on Windows 11. I have a Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop and an NVIDIA graphics card. I did not personally need to select either of these two wrappers. I tried both of them in my game and I had a lot of tearing and the frame rate seemed a little off to me. I personally have selected none, and that has worked just great for me in the game. I strongly advise doing that, but if you have any issues at any point in any given time, you can always navigate back to your Sims 1 widescreen patcher and change your settings. It's pretty intuitive and pretty straightforward. Now, because I already have it installed in my game, I have the option of uninstalling, but for you, patch should be visible and you want to click on that option. And that's it, you guys. You have now reconfigured your settings for the Sims Complete Collection to be fully in widescreen. Let's go ahead and jump into the game really quick and I will show you a few things that have probably changed. So right off the bat, the loading screen has become drastically smaller. Just note that is entirely normal. The neighborhood map is also incredibly small. That is what this patch does, unfortunately, and you just have to live with it. But everything else looks really great and I'm gonna show you guys right now. Let's go ahead and visit the iconic goth family. So here we are. The game is now set to my resolution on my monitor, which is 1920 by 1080. And I have to say the game is a lot more sharp and a lot more crisp. Now, the menu has also been reconfigured to fit our screen, but obviously there's quite a bit of white space or dead space, I guess I should say, which is right here. That is to be expected. Now, at a glance, the only thing that I noticed that felt drastically different is with the widescreen patch, for whatever reason, I feel like I am viewing my Sims a little further away, but I think it's an optical illusion. At the 800 by 600 native resolution, the game is a little bit more tight, and obviously the dimension is a square, and it cuts off a lot of your peripheral view here, which is what we have in full being in widescreen. So it might take a little getting used to at the start, but in my opinion, it is well worth adding to your game. It definitely makes the game sharper and it also allows you to play in 60 frames per second, which is fantastic. 
Well, I think that wraps up today's tutorial. Now you have successfully converted your Sims 1 game into widescreen view at 60 frames per second in full HD. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy playing this game in widescreen view. If at any point in time you really prefer to go back to the native resolution of the game, you can always navigate back to your widescreen patcher and uninstall it. It's fairly intuitive. I We've done it before just to test it out and I can confirm that it works. Thanks again for watching. If you found this video helpful, I highly encourage you to like this video. That really helps my channel to grow and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Bye.